amongst teenagers. My main focus will be um, cell phones and iPods today. So with a show of hands, how many people own cell phones? Okay. Amongst those same people, how many own iPods? Okay. So one thing that you guys don't know is that the main purpose for cell phones was to allow a constant connection um, with the office at home. Um, the cell phone was first invented in 1983, and mainly it was used by business women and men so that they didn't have to stay connected and work just in the office. They could bring their work with them along with them if their boss needed to call them, assistant, their children, school, etc. About 99.4% of teenagers between the ages of 12 and 18 in the United States own a cell phone. That's 99.4%. Okay. And 92% of the teenagers between ages 12 and 18 in the U.S. own iPods. The iPods were first originated in October 1st, 2001. Okay, um, obviously, well, you guys already know that we are considered the generation of technology. We were born when technology was just getting started, everybody was getting used to it. We had the first cell phones, the first iPods, DVD players, VCRs, Blu-rays, we experienced it all. There are about more than 15,000 different models of cell phones and about 24 different models of iPods. How does it influence the interaction of, how does it in influence the interaction between people? A lot of people don't know that technology itself, you lose the ability to branch out to people. You don't become as open, you don't become as outgoing because you're so used to having your phone in your hand or your iPod, your headphones plugged in that when people randomly come up to you to say hi or they open the door for you, instead of saying thank you, you walk right by them because you're not listening, you're not paying attention. You don't pick up on the little things that's going on. The downfalls um, with communication abilities due to technology would be the in, um, misinterpretation of text messages. How many times have you guys got text messages and once you guys read them, you became so defensive on what the person had said? But when you talk to them in person, you realize that that's not what they meant. That they meant it some other way. There was an argu argument, conflict started off of a text message that could have been prevented if you guys just talked it face to face. Um, you won't be able to pick up on facial expressions, um, gestures, the raising of the eyebrows, um, hand movements, the way people move their head. If you know somebody's really listening to you or interested in the conversation, through a text message, you don't know that. Even sometimes through a phone call. How many times have you been on the phone with somebody and you hear, uh-huh, yeah, okay, yeah, yep, you're right. Um, you, don't, you also don't develop um, the ability to understand and interpret messages, so when people talk to you, you're not focused. A lot of people older than us, a lot of our elders, see that face-to-face -face communication, eye-to-eye -eye contact is respectful. Nowadays, amongst our generation, we have our cell phones in our hands, somebody's talking to us, we don't look at them in their face, we look past them, we look at the next person, our phone vibrates, we pick it up within two seconds. <laughs> Um, technology plays a bigger part in our lives than a lot of people know. And once we got it, I think it's going to be a little bit hard to let it go. So. This is a graph showing um, the use of cell phones. This is how many times it's said that people just check the time. People make calls. first iPod that was ever um, invented. 
It looks like a cassette player, kind of like. It's thick, it was heavy. Um, you didn't have like the touch, there were still buttons. You couldn't hold as many songs as you do today. And these are the cell phones. These, this cell phone right here was um, the first cell phone to come out. Well, one of the first cell phones to come out in 1983. As the years progressed, they slowly got better. Our latest um, cell phone networking has been up to 4G as well. That's the latest one that was started in, I believe, 2010. And that's my website.